Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, today we follow Reagan Benson around as she encounters a cop and goes into full rage mode over nothing. I tell you something, I don't know if it's an act or if she really needs medication or if she has borderline personality disorder or what, but sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Do you remember me? Do you remember my face? I never gave you my name. What was your guys' names? can't give you our names. Why? We don't answer questions. I'm not sure if I got your card. Can I have your card, please? Hang on one second. Okay. I just can't remember if I got your card or not. Cause you remember that day, Pineda. You remember that day you you admitted to stealing rubber bands? Huh? You got anything you're not supposed to have? Uh, yeah. What do you got? Um, these rubber bands. We're only supposed to have three. Did you steal office supplies? You stole office supplies. I've got more than three. I must send you to IA for that. Uh, no. <laughs> rubber yeah. bands. Yeah. Yeah, you got called over to the jail because two people were exercising their First Amendment rights inside the jail. Then you showed up, you talked to me and my friend. We wanted to search your vehicle. For oh, any, yeah, 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 yeah. For anything unsafe. And you said, what, these rubber bands? <laughs> and you admitted to stealing office supplies. <laughs> I saw you pull your car up so you could be in the shade yeah. of that tree. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. I've had enough. Thank you. Like Popeye, it was good to you see you. Wear Popeye? Yeah. That's all I can you do, stand. You do the Popeye? <laughs> it's me. All right. All I'm I going back to the I library. No more, right? <laughs> Take care. Have a good day. Here's State Patrol. They're guarding the park. So this area is closed to the public from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. But they're here on patrol. What are you guys doing today? Hi. What are you guys doing today? Garden the park? Huh? I'm just trying to ask you a question. I'm sorry? I'm just trying to ask you a question. What are you guys doing? Garden the park? Yes, ma'am. From who? Are we uh, not allowed to come in it? What? Are we not allowed to come in it? Oh, you can go in. Oh. It's just like security? Is it security? Have a good day, ma'am. I'm just asking you a question. Can you not answer that question? Okay, most people would take that response from the cop as a go-away sign and not bother him anymore and just go about their way. But not her. She's going to be rageful here in just a moment. Uh, it's uh, really over the top. I would even say that it's so far over the top, it might not be an act. It could be that she has borderline personality disorder. If that's the case, she really needs help. Why Why are you parked on the lawn here? I'm curious. Is that how you interface with the public? Aren't you a public servant? Is this, why, why the attitude? Why the attitude? Hey, I'm talking to you. Why the attitude? You work for the public. I was trying to nicely ask you a question, and now you're going to get treated like a dick. What What's your name? R. Boone. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? You say I'm what is your badge number? You say I'm giving what is your badge number? Yeah, you're going to get the same attitude you just gave me, you condescending. Give me a card. A lot of the people that I know who have rage like this over a simple slight usually have some form of mental disorder. I mean, her reaction to his action does not fit together very well. It was not warranted. Or your badge number. You What's your badge number? I don't have to give it yeah, you don't have to give me 
because you're up here and the public is down here, right? And you prefer us on your on our knees, don't you? You condescending little Why don't you go sit in your car since you can't interface with the public? You're really nice, lady. Yeah. Nice this. You get 15 seconds with me. You want to act like a condescending You're going to get treated like one because you work for us. And all I did was try to ask you a question. So get in your car and shut the Ma'am. Can I say anything? No. Give me your badge number. I can't say anything, can Give I? me your badge number. That's all I asked for. Ma'am. Give me your badge number. Ma'am. Give me your badge number. Give me your badge number. What? You fing little prick. You see? You see this? And they wonder. They wonder. Look at him. You little weasel. Go sit in your car and turn it off. This costs taxpayers money. Gas is over dollars a gallon. Turn your car off. Are you having a bad day? No, but I think you are. You some end goal to what a fraudster does, but this just seemed like an unnecessary tirade of swear words, like the punishment didn't fit the crime. <laughs> 